Phillies and Mets game three. It seems like you've got two bets for us. Why don't you give them both out and then Teddy will jump right in and take them apart. Okay. Uh, yeah. Again, apologies for both plays being on the same game, but they're good plays. And if you bet them, you'll probably win because the Phillies, uh, despite their uh, performances in the postseason, they're actually a top 10 hitting team in Major League Baseball. And they're going against Sean Manaya. And Sean Manaya, mm, not so good against these Phillies, especially in his career. He's got 97 at bats against with a 309 average against and a 1027 OPS against, which is horrible. And we have a huge sample size with him too, because he's faced him three times this season, all of them at home, which is what he's doing in this particular situation as well. He's given up three earned runs. Uh, and then he got smacked really hard, uh, three and two thirds innings for six earned runs. And then he did have at the beginning of the season back in May, uh, he gave up one earned run, but it's 16 innings total against this team. And his uh, his OPS not too good. His career OPS not too good. I have a feeling the Phillies are going to hit him pretty good, despite the Mets bullpen being ranked seven out of 30 teams. They haven't been performing too well in this postseason. So I think the uh, Phillies team total of three and a half little bit too low. So I am going to urge people to take the over three and a half for the Philadelphia Phillies in this game. And that's my first play for game three of the Phillies versus Mets. And tell us about Sean Manea. You've got a prop bet for Sean Manea that you're interested in for this game as well. Uh, Philadelphia over <laughs> and your prop bet don't necessarily correlate though. Talk about, uh, talk about that if you would. It does not. So play number two uh, is going to be a uh, Sean Manea prop. And actually, generally speaking, you would think when a hitter gets hit or when a pitcher gets hit by hitters really hard, you would think he's walking a lot of batters, but that's not particularly the case in Sean Manaya's case. Uh, he only walks 1.7 batters per outing. And a lot of these power teams like the, the Dodgers, the Yankees, uh, they generally will walk more than three times per nine innings, but the Phillies have a fairly low walk rate. And if you look at Manaya's uh, history against the Phillies, uh, he has a walk rate of 1.7 and he also in the last three starts this season that i talked about earlier he's only walked two batters in 16 and two-thirds innings uh his outing here will probably be five or less maybe six innings but i doubt he'll get through six uh and i really doubt he'll walk two batters in this outing so my second play for this game is sean Manaya under one and a half walks allowed so we've got the phillies team total over and we have manaya walks under for game Perfect. three from tokyo brandon let's talk about the phillies team total right game one held the two runs yep. game two shut out through yep. the first five and then a big rally against the mets bullpen arms late including a walk-off winner yep. now they have a day off this is a team that kind of had a week off played a couple of days had a day off does that affect the rhythm which do you expect it to affect the rhythm more of the batters or the pitchers when you're talking about these disjointed uh you know you play for a day or two then you're off then you had a week off then you're back in who does it affect more yeah i've hung around some of these guys when i was a scout and the pitchers are by far more creatures of habit uh when they get knocked off their rhythm it affects them a lot more you know when they're, they they have a a major routine, a five-day routine. And when you make that five-day five routine six days, it really throws them off. The hitters, they don't mind so much. They're in there every day, take a week off. They, they can take BP. They can, you know, they can ask someone to throw hard at them. Uh, they can use a machine to throw curveballs and straight uh, fastballs at them. So uh, I don't think their timing gets thrown off quite as much as pitchers. Pitchers are those, you know, uh, you remember the movie Major League? That guy was like, you know, uh, treating his bat and praying. To, you know, those are more like pitchers, not hitters. <laughs> so those guys are are Dennis really has hurt. What's that? Yeah, those guys. Joba. It's, it's yeah, yeah, Joba. It's more the pitchers that are like that than the hitters. Actually, um, they're really superstitious and they have their little irks and quirks. 
the hitters, I don't think it'll affect them. And what I do like about the Phillies here is they're on the road, so they'll get nine innings of at bats, uh, even if they're winning eight three. And I do expect the Phillies to win the game. Not enough to put a play on it, though. 